This is why you need to care about zero-day exploits. Governments aren't just defending. They're launching cyber attacks too. In 2024, government-backed hackers led the use of zero-day exploits. Those are software flaws nobody knows about until they're used in real-world attacks. Out of 75 zero-day exploits last year, at least 23 were tied directly to governments, mostly from China and North Korea. Spyware vendors, often selling to governments, were behind eight more. Most of these attacks didn't target big companies, they targeted regular consumer platforms like phones and browsers. But here's some good news, software makers are fighting back. Security features like Apple's lockdown mode and Google's memory tagging extension are making zero-day attacks harder. Still, as old spyware companies get shut down, new ones keep popping up. So, even with better defenses, the cybersecurity arms race is far from over. Stay sharp, keep your devices updated, and don't assume you're off the radar. In today's world, everyone's a potential target.